Let's take a look at using iRacing Live Hub to display an overlay visible to you whilst you're driving. I'll assume at this point you've already got iRacing Live Timing up and running and connected to an iRacing session like I have here. If not, then you need to go to the YouTube tutorial or the user manual to get to this point. Once you're here, we want to go to the SDK Gaming website where you downloaded the Live Timing software already. Go to the burger menu at the top, go to My Accounts. And then once that opens, we've got download then just on the left hand side. So halfway down, got downloads. And then for you, Live HUD is probably going to be the second option here. But for me, it's a little bit further down. So iRacing Live HUD latest release. That's the one you're looking for. So once you're ready, click on that to start downloading it. I've just done that already. Once it's finished downloading, just click the icon to open it up. You see then Windows are going to warn us that it's not a recognized app. So you need to click on more info and then run anyway. SDK Gaming Life Hard is then just going to install for a moment. And once it's finished installing, it's going to go down into our system tray just on the bottom right here of our taskbar. And so now we can see straight away we've got a race overlay starting to display. So the app itself is, as I said, in the system tray. So if I right click, I've got options for settings, reload overlay and quit. And now I need to go into settings because we can see that the HUD isn't displaying the full size of my screen. So at the minute we've got it upset to 1920 by 1080. I'm using a 2560 by 1440 screen. So as soon as I enter those, now we can see that it's taken up the full width of the uh, screen. If the uh, positions aren't correct, so if the top left corner of the HUD isn't in the top left for where you want, then you can adjust the values there as well. So if I go back into iRacing Live Timing, I need to do a little bit of configuration in here as well. So if we press F3 or click on the burger menu, I need to load a project. And in your iRacing Live Timing folder, we've got three different project files available. You can use either of these, they'll all work, but they're going to serve a slightly different purpose. They're designed for a different purpose. So we're looking at a live HUD, so we'll select the live HUD project file. You can now see that we've got a timing tower in the top left corner, driver details in the bottom left corner, an SDK gaming logo in the top right along with the track map, and in the bottom right is a battle box. So straight away then you've got an overlay that you can be using whilst you're driving. But you can configure this to display how you want. So if I go back to live timing, I'll close the configuration panel, and then we can press F4 or click on the up arrow here to open our remote control tab. I'll just pull this up a little bit to give yourself a bit more of a view. All of these buttons now are going to be controlling the components that we're displaying in our overlay. To start with, whilst you get used to it, you can focus just on the yellow box here, the display mode component. If you hover over each label or each button, it will give you a description as to what that does. But basically it's a nice easy way for you to change some basic elements of your overlay. So being that you're using this as a HUD, you're probably just going to be leaving it in the race display mode. But then I can choose what display type to use. So at the minute it was set on battle box, we saw that in the bottom right hand corner. We click on time delta. That's going to show us a lap by lap difference between you and the driver behind if that's how you have it set. I click on dashboard. That's going to show me now my speed and my gear selection. I go lap time. That's going to show a lap time comparison between myself and the car behind. Pit strategy. Sectors as well. Again, same thing, a sector time comparison between you and the driver behind. So straight away, just by using, say, this display mode component, you can make a few adjustments to your overlay to set it how you'd like. But you can explore around the rest of the layout here. Again, everything has got the tool tips to explain what it does and you can really customize that overlay to how you need it to be. Hopefully having this information on screen is going to be of use to you and maybe even give you a competitive advantage out on track.